All right, so I'm gonna do Ovomancy. This is Divination by Eggs, and I am specifically using um, the Kim Krantz Animal deck because I have it under good authority <laughs> that there are a few eggs in this deck. So I do wanna give it an opportunity to show up, obviously, but at the same time, um, obviously there's, there's, I think there's only two eggs in this entire deck, so. Um, it says, it was a popular method of divination in ancient Greece and Rome, also known as Umancy, O-O-M-A-N-C-Y. The word comes from the Latin word for eggs or ovum. If you've never heard ovis, it's O-V-I-S. They're this, I, I don't even know where they're from. They, I don't, they're just from, they're old, probably telling on myself in my own age. Um, however, Ovis regular thing is coming to mind, just like regular cyc cyclical listening of that when I was around that age. Um, a typical method was to break an egg and allow the inside to fall slowly into a glass of water. The shapes formed by the white and the egg were interpreted. This is also a very popular Victorian method of divination that was done at full moon, Halloween, or on New Year's Eve. Divining was also done on a number of eggs laid by a chicken. How many were found and how many of them were together. So how many of them clustered and how many of them did not. Um, according to the Roman biographer Suetonius, when Livia Drusilla, the mother of the future emperor Tiberius, was pregnant, she was anxious to divine the sex of the baby. She did this by taking a freshly laid chicken egg and carrying it in her bosom to keep the temperature appropriate. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, I'm going to keep this one right here for a second because of where we're at. This is talking about using eggs to reflect the gender of an actual human child. When it hatched, a chick with a beautiful cox coxum emerged. Um, sure enough, a few months later, Livia gave birth to a boy. So this is like the, um, this is for, t in my opinion, okay, this is just my personal of a mancy kind of um, take on the car, on the read that came out. I think they came out in this order. Yeah. So here, when they're talking about um, Victoria method of um, kind of using eggs on the full moon, I do kind of see this as the transformation. So, um, you know how there's mummies walking around on the full moon? I remember throwing a Halloween party when I was like in high school or something like that. And um, people dressing up as mummies. But that also kind of does look like a chrysalis or a cocoon or a um, some type of a uh, enclosure, I just, like a, a pod almost. If you've seen Roswell, kind of that kind of pod, um, a, a traveling pod. I don't know how you would really, um, it's, it's, it's kind of encompassing yourself in the, a shell, you know, it's, um, that is like the ghost in the shell. It's right before it comes out of the, of its shell. This is the next step in that stage. Um, this would be for, on the number of la eggs laid by chickens and how many were found and how many of them were together. So um, without, you can't really cheat about how many eggs you've laid. I mean, if you've seen Chicken Run, um, I guess you can, but you have to have some really kind of tricky, I guess that's appropriate with the Halloween transformation. This is not having to be tricky about stuff. This is using the natural number arrangement and kind of shape the formation of an egg to ascertain information okay so then this this comes out and this is just about um the roman biographer or whatever and this was her kind of um not really knowing which which sex the baby was when she was pregnant with the future emperor tiberius so then she tucked you know an egg in her cleavage and when it hatched, it was a it was a male. It was a you know a rooster. There's a 
cock-a-doodle-doo. So she knew that she was going to have a little boy, and that ended up being true, an, an accurate reflection. So that's just um, just trying to give another ovomancy kind of example. Maybe I'll follow it up some other day with actually cracking an egg in some water and trying to see what kind of um, wants to emerge from that. But for now, I think that was kind of kind of surface level to be honest I wasn't exactly blown away by it. isn't any more information we need to know about ovomancy mm. oh I shouldn't have put those away yet is what I heard <laughs> but there was still more information to come out of that um I'm just gonna try to remember it so basically though the idea of like a dragonfly um I for some reason the dragonfly always makes me think about that um michael or da vinci's you know flying man image of uh the golden ratio and i think it's because there's this subliminal uh mathematical information that our brain just does you know oh that person looks like they've got one leg longer than the other or that person looks like um, they got their hair cut recently. It's, it's minute little details that we don't typically notice about other people. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. With Ovomancy, I feel like that's the same kind of thing. It's noticing um, the glowing, right? Yeah, so when somebody is glowing, it's because their egg has not been cut off. It is now growing. The glowing comes from the growing. So nothing... I'm I'm just hearing no weapon um, formed against something. Um, I don't know why that came to mind. I guess it's the ovum and kind of the idea of like this Latin, um, why did the chicken cross the road to find out what was about to happen on the other side. Well, at least in Lady Tiberius's or Livia Drusilla and Emperor Tiberius's case, right? Um, so that's that's the thing. Is that if you're, um, yeah, this is lightning. This is something coming from nothing. That's what an egg, an implanted or a fertilized egg is, right? Something out of nothing. There was a, a void, a womb, an abyss, an opening. It was a bounce check from month to month. Like, you know, nothing was cashed in that your nest egg did not grow that month and if you're looking for babies right um this is the incoming like message of this information like there's not going to be a a targeting of any type of cutting off of of children of babies of kids of offspring youth however you want to phrase that right um that's basically conception point <clears throat> my voice wanted to crack right there i think i'm supposed to switch decks again for some reason let me get two more for this and then we'll just go ahead and end it because i don't want to go past 10 minutes all right so courage came out with the eagle I do want to say that this specific card, there are other cards that I have that have birds and eagles and birds of prey, but this one in specific, this little point of light right there, it's just a, it looks like an egg drop to me. Like it looks like the arrival of a package. I don't know if you've ever seen like the stork, right? The stork comes by and drops. I don't know why, but I'm just seeing like an eagle stork though. That's pretty cool. It's like the ultimate, um, ultimate UPS delivery system. So like <laughs> by drone or something, I, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's really, uh, yeah. So this is cool. Um, this is the camel that broke the, what, the straw that broke the camel's back is what I want to say. Um, yeah, the straw that broke the camel's back. Not in a bad way at all, but this was the empty... Okay, so imagine being... 
an animal that you would consider not necessarily at the brightest crayon in the box or top of the totem pole, right? This is them realizing what it is to be pregnant. It's that feeling of like <gasps> excitement. It's it's um it's the secret that's that they they don't know this they don't understand that necessarily until later or do they that's the question is do they know the information are they aware of themselves are they what like when they have fertilized eggs or when they have an idea of something an incoming thought right a secret incoming thought that that there is space and time and effort for but I mean, it's just maybe a little bit more primitive than the thoughts that we have. I'm just asking, is it primitive thoughts? Do they lead to, lead to primitive actions? Is that where ovomancy originates from? Or I wonder, honestly, where this kind of idea of being able to somehow predict mentally your trajectory when it comes to um, making space for... Um, new people, places, and things to to become secured in your world. So that's it for Ovomancy, at least for the time being. <laughs>